Hello and welcome to Stampin' by Hannah. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today on Make It Monday, I thought that we would case the catalogue. So my inspiration today is this card here using the uh, Sweet Cupcake stamp set. And I love this. This was one of those stamps when I looked through that catalogue of the catalogue the very first time, I was all over this. Absolutely love this stamp set. Um, and this sample I think is so so cute um, and I thought that we would give it a go um, with English um, or metric um, card sizes because this will be an American um, card size that we don't use over here in the UK we use A4 so I thought we could see how it works so I have got I've got my desk today is an absolute mess. <laughs> I've got stuff everywhere. I've got a Sahara Sand card base and a layer of Sahara Sand. Just, I'm casing it. I don't need to, it doesn't need to be exactly the same. I've got a piece of very vanilla that I'm going to stick on the middle there, like that. A piece of scrap very vanilla and a piece of scrap melon mambo. I've got some of our melon mambo extra thick um, baker's twine. Um, as well and then I've got stamps and all sorts everywhere <laughs> the um, sweet cupcake stamp set comes with or can't come with oh dear <laughs> dropping dies all over the floor this coordinating die set that I just love it's fabulous you've got the um, the bottom of the cupcake, the top of the cupcake, you've got two words, sweet and wish, candles, banners, and then this swirly bit here. And I've already die cut that swirl six times, because you do not want to watch me sit and die cut this over and over and over again. So I've got six of the, or five, five of these swirls. And I thought I would just show you, this is my... I had a bit of scrap Sahara sand. Great way to use up your scrap bits of cards like this. So, as you can see, right now I've laid those out. That's the size of my card base and they're just too long. But they fit on, on an 8.5 by 11 um, size card. They just don't fit on a UK size. So, let's get these stuck on first. For that, I am going to grab my trusty silicon mat because these are really skinny I am going to make a mess with my Tombow and uh, I'm going to stick these on let's just see if I've got any glue <laughs> oh, you, oh there we go you've got to love a bit of a uh, you don't get you, you don't get some um, perfect videos with me you get to see everything you get to see <laughs> you get to see the bloopers you get to see oh you see it's not coming out now I don't edit oh. this Tombow is uh, about ready to die I think right okay so I've got my five swirls all tomboed onto the front then i'm going to set that off to one side to dry before i trim off the edges while waiting for it to dry i've got all my stamps already out and this is what i do when i'm using photopolymer stamps i get them all out and i put them onto a block um so that i can see exactly what i've got and what i'm using i've got that off to one side and i'm going to use the um cupcake popper and tip top coat and Sahara sand. So this is a um, two step stamp in three steps. Um, so there are three stamps for the cupcake top. There is this one that is solid. Stamp that off once in Sahara sand. There is excuse my arms there is a slightly more detailed one that we're going to layer over the top in full strength Sahara sand if I can see it's one thing when you're filming that 
getting right over the top of the images, which as you can see I've just got that slightly off, but it doesn't matter. It will still look pretty at the end. And then the third stamp is the most detailed. I don't know how well you can see that probably better like that because it's stained pink. <laughs> Make a lot of pink cupcakes. And then that's going to go in tip top type over the top. Like so. Super pretty. And then. I've also got the base of the cupcake, Ooh, which I'm going to throw, of course. And I'm going to do this in three different um, strengths of mint macaron. And I've got that skinny piece of very vanilla cardstock. And we're going to stamp directly onto the front. Now, if you're a bit nervous about stamping with photopolymer, I would suggest that you use the um, stamp and pierce mat. I don't always use mine, but that's because I'm naughty. So I'm going to stamp that mint macaron base off twice, and then onto there. And I've got a little. It's okay. That my little boogie thing. Boogie. My little. <laughs> Whatever that is, my smudge will be covered up anyway, so it's not a problem. I've got the next leg, I'll stamp that off once and I'm probably not in quite on screen when I'm doing this. Oh dear, another one. And then the last bit. And it's okay, it doesn't matter if you get mistakes on because ultimately it's a handmade card. And handmade things sometimes have errors on. I ain't bothered. I'm not a perfectionist. I try not to be a perfectionist. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't really work. All right. I've got the um, candle as well. While well, I've got my mint macaron out, and I'm just going to stamp this onto that scrap piece of very vanilla. There are two steps for the candle, but I'm only going to use one today. So that's all our stamping of that bit done. And then I've, I've just got my sentiment and I'm going to use the exact same sentiment that they've used on the um, sample in the catalogue and that's happy belated birthday. So I'm going to pop that onto my block and I'm going to use um, Melon Mambo ink on my Melon Mambo cardstock here. Let's just see how it works. It might not work, but we shall see. I quite like that. And then the belated, just there. Let, oh, I don't know if you can see that at all, actually. <laughs> it is stamped, I promise. I, sh I know that it will show up better in the photos I will take and I'll pop on my blog. Link to that is in the down bar below. So I am just going to go over to my, stamp, my big shot and I cut these out and I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so I've got those two pieces die cut and I'm just going to layer them up like that. So I'm gonna grab some fine tip glue because my Tombow is not really working very well. As you've already can tell by the beginning of this video, and I'm just going to pop a little bit of the glue on the back of the candle. And remember it's there and not put my finger in it. And then a couple of dimensionals for the back of my cupcake topper. Cover up that mistake same time and then stick our cupcake um our candle in the top of our cupcake like that and then I'm gonna fussy cut my um sentiment really fussily, there we go, make it slightly more 
square. Um, I do like a rough cut sentiment every now and again. And then I'll bring back in our card base. So that's now dry-ish. I'm going to take my paper snips. I'm going to turn, the way that I trim these things is turn the whole thing over and then trim from the back. I'm just going to trim those edges off. Send bits of cardstock flying all over. You could be more careful than me, I'm sure. <laughs> but I'm filming and it's difficult. <laughs> so I am going to grab my snail and pop the snail on the back and attach this onto the front of our card base. And then I want five dimensionals on the back of, the, hold on, I knew I'd missed a step. I'm just gonna round the corners off on this piece because that's what there is the on the catalog version, which isn't the same as my version. I will openly admit um, they've got rounded corners. So, dimensionals on the back of that one. One in each corner and one in the middle. Now, as a card maker, you should never have to send a belated birthday card. Because you should just, you know, know when everybody's birthdays are. Huh? <laughs> Because I never forget. Oh, goodness. The number of times my husband comes up to me the day before and goes, you know what's so-and-so's birthday tomorrow? And I'll go, is it? And he goes, have you got a card for such and such? And I'll go, no. No, I haven't. Do you want one? And I either go through my stash or I quickly whip one up. But usually I, it's going through the stash and pulling out one that'll do. <laughs> so, I've got our sentiment on there that I'm going to pop off at a wonky angle. And then our um, thick baker's twine, and I'm going to tie, I'm going to cut a length off, and I'm going to tie a bow. So I've got my two. The way that I tie it, a totally free bow like this is I've got two rabbit ears. Oh, I call them rabbit ears. Don't know what everybody else calls them. And <laughs> tie those rabbit ears in a knot, um, and then you can fiddle with it at that point. So don't want it to be massive. Probably a little bit smaller than that. I could have done this before I'd started filming but that would be that would be boring and you wouldn't be seeing my reality then would you? So we're just going to chop off relatively long tails and I'm going to grab a mini mini glue dot and pick it up with my pokey tool. And I'm going to pop it onto the bottom of my sentiment. And I'm going to oh, work out which is, the, which is the front of my bow and stick that on over the top. And that is our Sweet Cupcake catalogue for Make It Monday. Thank you ever so much for watching. Links to all the products I've used today are in the down bar below. And if you want some more detailed pictures that, of this card, they'll be over on my blog. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again next week for another Make It Monday. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.